Hello, and welcome to Holistic Lifestyle Tips, Getting Real About the Woo Woo. I am Becky Russell, owner of wellness company Hope Essential, and I am an essential oil educator and a holistic lifestyle educator. And the purpose of this video series, Holistic Lifestyle Tips, is to open your minds to the idea of approaching your health in a different way, where you are um, actually um, including all three areas of wellness, emotional, physical, and spiritual. And I have been on this holistic journey for over 25 years, and I feel it served me well, and I wanna share what's helped me and hope that it will help you. So each week I talk about a different topic that um, is a way to help you be more proactive and preventative about your health. I am from a family where a lot of the women, once they turned 40, uh, they were diagnosed as type 2 diabetics. And when I was 35, I was diagnosed as pre-diabetic. And so I chose to try a different route, the holistic route, because I didn't feel the traditional path served my family well. They didn't age with a quality of life and they, they left us too soon. So I'm not judging anyone how they approach their health. I just want to let you know there's another way. So at in, at 63, I'm not on any diabetes medications. I'm not even considered pre-diabetic. So that's pretty amazing. Do I have other health concerns? Absolutely. But I always approach holistically whenever possible. So I'm so excited. Today we have a good friend of mine, Andrea Edwards, on the video with me. And she's going to talk about her business and how it might help you. Welcome, Andrea. I'm so excited. Um, Andrea is the owner of Legendary Massage in Kingsport, and she is a massage therapist who specializes in chronic pain. But she has something really special she wants to talk about. And if you want to know more about the, the uh, massage therapy, you can look up that video on my website. So today, Andrea, what are we going to talk about? Well, today we're going to talk about a salt booth that I have at my office. Okay. Um, it, is, it is a little booth that you get to sit in, and it actually aerosolizes uh, salt, so it's kind of like sitting on the beach for a few days, and that great kind of opening up of the sinuses and making you feel nice and relaxed, all that kind of things, happens to you in just 10 minutes in the booth. Oh, wow. Okay. And I assume you can just be in your street clothes and... Yeah, yeah, you don't have to wear anything special. Um, we do ask that you don't take in your phone or, you know, take off your jewelry and things of that nature because salt is corrosive. So we don't want anything to happen to your uh, property at all. So we try to make sure that all that's taken out. Um, like I have a couple of people that come in with little hearing aids and I tell them to take those out because I don't want them to have to have that squealing in their ear after it's all said oh. and done. So okay. <laughs> we try to make sure that everything is taken off and you don't take anything in. Um, okay. And we give you bottled water and Kleenexes in case you have a little sniffles when you get in there. Okay. All right. And um, so what are uh, some of the I mean, respiratory, absolutely. Are there any other benefits from this? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, my husband, he recently got in thinking that he was just going to cure his little post-nasal drip that he gets from time to time. And he got out and he goes, wow, I'm so relaxed. So it does help with relaxation and it does help decrease uh, fatigue and anxiety as well. Um, simply because you decrease that cortisol level in your uh, bloodstream, it actually gives you a little bit of a dopamine dump too. Okay. All right. That sounds amazing. And um, so what type of person should be considering trying out the salt booth? Um, anybody that has any kind of um, lung issues, um, COPD, asthma, emphysema, um, even if you just got a little bit of sinus congestion from time to time, um, the post-nasal drip type people, um, anybody that just has any kind of anything pretty much with your respiratory system. And I know now because of COVID, everybody's a little bit more concerned about uh, respiratory health. So it's something that you, it, it would be nice to look into just to make sure that your lungs are up and going the way that they should be going. Okay. 
So bronchitis and um, things like that too. Yes, yes. Okay. And um, so the stress levels, how, how does that, is it just sort of like you were saying, like how you sit on a beach, you, it, you just tend to relax, just that smell and... Yeah, yeah. What happens is you are actually opening up the sinuses, which really it opens up pressure that you get into your like the front of your face and your forehead, which causes, you know, headaches and things of that nature. So once your pain level goes down, you automatically start to relax. So oh, okay. that starts dropping that cortisol level. And then you start getting that dopamine working a little bit better and helping that increase your um, making you feel good. And then it also helps the fatigue part of if you're sitting there and you're actually relaxing like we should be doing on a normal day-to-day -day basis, it gives you that little boost of, oh, I'm here and I don't have to be anywhere for the next 10 minutes. So it's kind of a, kind of a two for one there. Okay. Awesome. And do you feel that this type of treatment helps more with physical, spiritual, or emotional wellness or a combination? I really think it's a combination of all three. Um, I know back in the day, they used to have uh, retreats where you went into the salt caves themselves and people would go there for numerous, numerous problems. They even had a mental facility in one of these places where they actually went in and these patients would stay there for a couple of weeks like a rehab and they would come out feeling a whole lot better about themselves. Their anxiety would be lower. So it's, it's got a lot of history to it. Um, America is just now starting to get, get hang on to the fact that, uh, you know, Eastern medicine is a little bit better than what they think it is. And, but the Western people have had this for a long, long time. They just started noticing that these uh, salt miners actually came out of the caves and they had a better immune system and a better outlook on life than most people around them. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And so, um, how can people reach you and find out more about this and actually make appointments? Um, there's a couple of different ways. I have an Instagram account, which is A Edwards, L M T, L is in Larry, M is in Mike, T is in Tom. You can also look me up on Facebook under the same thing. And I also have a website, which is www.andreaedwardslmt.com. Okay, awesome. And then, um, just so everyone knows, uh, once this gets posted, uh, Andrea will go in and make sure all of that information's in the comments so you can have it right at your fingertips. And also, um, Andrea, I always like to end the interview with a fun question. Where is your happy place? Well, my happy place for the moment is probably just at home. We um, own almost 40 plus acres and um, just getting on the back of the four-wheeler and going out is a lot of fun because I do not live in Kingsport. I live in Virginia, in the hills of Virginia. Um, I've had several people that's come to visit me go, wow, you really live in the sticks. And I'm like, yeah, I really do. <laughs> so actually getting on the back of that four-wheeler and getting out and there's several different places on my property that you can't see another house. So it's oh. just nice getting out there and looking at the mountains. Sounds amazing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here today. And I have not made it there yet, but I'm definitely going to check that out. So um, also for anyone who has missed uh, previous videos, like I said, they're all on my website, hopeessential.com. And you can find me on uh, Facebook at Hope Essential LLC. And uh, just would love to know if you have experienced anything with the like the salt booth, um, if, if you're interested, and you know, did you have a takeaway today? I would love to hear in the comments. And also um, just uh, follow me on Facebook so that you can keep track of my events and giveaways. And of course, as always, choose you, choose natural, choose now.